all right so welcome to this tutorial in this you will learn how you can select between a managed and unmanaged solution now we'll be covering managed and unmanaged solution later in this training where you will have in-depth videos where you will learn what are solutions why they are used how you can create it how you can export it how you can import it versioning patching cloning so there are a lot of things we will be covering in the coming videos but let's just cover the basics of solution in this video so dynamics 365 solutions allow you to package technical components and move from one environment to another that's kind of technical definition but just to give you the functional side of it so for example if your client is requesting a functionality or a new feature in say dynamics 365 sales then you might want to build that functionality and features in the development environment you can create all kind of technical components like entities, fields, business rules, different things. And once you have completed those customization, you have tested, and when you want to apply those customizations and changes to client's production environment, you need solutions. So solutions allow you to package all the technical components or changes you have done to meet that functionality and import it in clients environment and they can start using it so for example moving all customization of a new module called say expense management from development environment to testing or production environment so that's one of the examples on how solutions and why solutions are used and a solution can include different technical components of dynamics 365 these are like entities forms views dashboards sitemap web resources processes plugins templates security roles and etc so these are the different components that you can include as a part of a solution so there are two types of solutions in dynamics 365 these are managed and unmanaged so let's talk about each one the first one is managed solution it is used for distributing customizations for production or as an isv solution it is required for you to export the solution as managed because it doesn't allow any changes to its component once it is imported as managed solution so if you want to distribute customization to a client then you don't want client to make any changes to those customizations so you export the solution as managed and import it in the production environment similarly if you are building a vertical or isv solution then you might want to distribute it and license it to partners or customers then you need to export that solution as managed solution and after it is imported if you plan to delete the solution then all the customization components that you have that are imported with the managed solution are also deleted so you don't have to worry about what if i remove this solution and all the customizations that are uh, imported with that solution remain so it will not happen once you delete a managed solution all the customization components will also be deleted and managed solutions cannot be exported like you can't import the managed solution in your production environment and export that solution again only unmanaged solutions can be exported so let's talk about unmanaged solutions when you create a solution it is unmanaged by default whenever you create a new solution in dynamics 365 it will be in the unmanaged state because you can make changes to its component if it's unmanaged and in case if you have imported an unmanaged solution in dynamics 365 then if you plan to delete that solution later all the customizations become part of the default solution and all the customizations remain in the system so you need to manually delete each component if you really want to remove all the components of an unmanaged solution and you can export an unmanaged solution as managed or unmanaged so just to wrap up on when to use managed or unmanaged solution you can use managed solution if you want to import customizations in production or to distribute isv packages for clients to use in their environment okay so they can't make any changes and you can use unmanaged solution if you want your team client or anyone else make changes to its component and change the functionalities that you have built in that case you will use unmanaged solution so i hope you get the basic overview of what is managed and unmanaged solution and when to use them right so that's it for this video and i will see you in the next video tutorial